In episode one of Rags to Riches, we went through the best way to make money as a level one. Well, you're not a level one anymore, and today you're gonna be buying your first business. We're gonna be taking you from the beginner stage into the more intermediate stages of making money in GTA Online. This is an extremely important episode because it's gonna be setting the foundations for your money-making methods in the future, and it's all coming up after the drop. get into the money making methods for this episode if you do enjoy the video a thumbs up is always appreciated and consider subscribing we've got a lot of gta content on this channel and a lot more coming in the future so anything you're ever gonna need is gonna be covered here so you're not gonna want to miss out all right in episode one we went over all the steps you need to follow in order to buy a ceo office because in order to buy the best solo businesses in GTA Online, you need a CEO office first. So what's the business we're gonna be buying today? We're gonna be buying a vehicle warehouse. This is a really good solo business because once you get it all set up and ready to go, you can make $80,000 every 20 minutes with this one. So in order to buy a vehicle warehouse, go over to the computer in your CEO office, click on vehicle cargo, and you'll see there's a bunch of different ones here that you can buy i recommend just buying the cheapest one the location is actually pretty decent for the price and the cheapest one is right here for 1.5 million dollars so how are we going to get that 1.5 million dollars you probably don't have any money right now because we spent it all at the end of last episode well i've uh, i've got some bad news we have to repeat the same money making methods we did in episode one so those are your headhunter and sightseer missions as well as your weekly double or triple money event I know, that's not the news you wanted to hear, and unfortunately, this is the point that drives a lot of people away from Grand Theft Auto Online. And while this is going to take you a handful of hours to complete, I can guarantee you that this will be the most boring part, so the future is looking brighter. You won't have to do this stuff again. It does get a bit more interesting. So really, what I recommend for this stage is just don't try and get money as fast as possible. Use these methods but make sure you're having fun along the way. This is a game you're meant to be having fun. Don't get caught up in just trying to make money as fast as possible because you're going to quit the game. That's just how it's going to go. So once you've got your $1.5 million, come back to your CEO office, buy the cheapest vehicle warehouse, the La Mesa Vehicle Warehouse. And of course, don't waste any money on these cosmetic upgrades. That's not what you need right now. You've seen how difficult it can be to make money. So just buy the standard one, please. And then we can move on to the next step. So how does this business work? The whole concept of this business is you go around, you steal high-end vehicles, deliver them back to your warehouse, modify them, and then sell them to a dealer. It's a completely illegal business, but this is Grand Theft Auto after all. So when you're ready to get started, log back in to your computer in your CEO office, go into your vehicle warehouse on the computer, and click Source Vehicle. This is going to start up that mission where you steal the vehicle and deliver it back to your warehouse, so let's do that one now. Congratulations, you've just sourced your first vehicle for your vehicle warehouse. Now we're going to talk about how to maximize your profits with this business. It is going to get a little bit complicated here, so let's head over to the CEO office and explain it. When you source a vehicle for your vehicle warehouse, it's going to give you a standard range, mid range, or top range vehicle to steal. Standard range vehicles can get you $30,000 profit per vehicle. Mid range can get you $50,000 per vehicle and top range can get you $80,000 profit per sale. So looking at those numbers, it would be great if we could just constantly sell top range vehicles, right? Well, you actually can do that. And I guess it's kind of by sort of abusing the game's mechanics a little bit. 
but I'll explain how it works. It'll all make sense, don't worry. When you click source vehicle, it's gonna give you a random vehicle out of these three types. However, in the actual pool for the vehicle warehouse, there's only 10 different standard range vehicles, 10 different mid range vehicles, and 12 different top range vehicles. The game isn't gonna give you a duplicate of any vehicle until you have all 32 vehicles in your warehouse. So what does this mean? This means if we continue sourcing vehicles until we have all 10 standard and all 10 mid-range vehicles in our vehicle warehouse, from that point on, the only vehicle the game is gonna let us source is top range vehicles. So what I'm saying is you never want to sell your standard or mid-range vehicles. You just wanna leave them in your warehouse doing nothing. And once you have all 10 standard and all 10 mid-range vehicles in there, just continue sourcing a vehicle. It'll be a top range vehicle, then sell that top range vehicle. Source another top range, sell another top range. Is that, is that making sense? If all of that is too confusing, just remember this simple rule. You only want to sell top range vehicles. Never sell anything else. All right, so let's sell one of these things. All right, we've got nine top range vehicles here, but we've got all 10 mid range and standard range vehicles. So we'll click on one of the top range vehicles, click export. And then we can choose who we want to sell it to, a private buyer, a showroom dealer, or a specialist dealer. They're all going to pay different amounts of money, but obviously we want to sell it to the specialist dealer. That's going to make us the most money. We're going to earn $100,000 from the sale, but it is going to cost $20,000 to modify. $100,000 minus $20,000 is $80,000 profit. So we're going to select that one and then modify the car. Once you get to the modification stage, it really doesn't matter what you do to the vehicle. All of the upgrades will be free. You've already paid the $20,000. You can make the vehicle look as cool or as stupid as you like. It really doesn't matter. It's only going to last this one mission. So really, I don't put much thought into it. So let's sell this one and we'll talk about what to do from there. So as you can see, we got shot up a little bit there. So we lost two and a half thousand dollars, but overall ninety seven and a half thousand dollars minus the twenty thousand. So that's seventy seven thousand dollars profit. Now that we've got a business that we can operate, we can get into a grinding routine and make a lot more money. You're going to have a 20 minute cooldown on these cell missions. So in the meantime, go back to your CEO office and source another vehicle. That'll probably take five or 10 minutes. So you still got a little bit of time to kill. So we're gonna get back into the VIP missions, man. Choose a headhunter or a sightseer mission. Smash that one out real quick. And if all of that still didn't take you 20 minutes, maybe do a quick double money weekly mission as well. So your grinding process should now look like this. Sell vehicle, source vehicle, do a VIP mission, and then do a double money mission. If you continue to rinse and repeat that process, you should be able to make at least $100,000 every 20 minutes. So of course that comes out to $300,000 an hour, which as a pretty new player, that's pretty good, especially if you're playing solo. So we'll finish off the video there. That's your goal for this week. Get up to this stage and grind some money. Hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you in the next episode.